वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री कॉन्सेप्ट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल्स द वेरी बेसिक आइडिया अबाउट इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल्स एंड द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट आर एक्चुअली इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल्स सो इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल इज अ डिवाइस विच इज यूज टू कन्वर्ट केमिकल एनर्जी इन टू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी और इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इन टू केमिकल एनर्जी ना दोज इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल्स विच कन्वर्ट द एनर्जी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो ऑफ स्पॉन्टेनियस रिडॉक्स रिएक्शंस इन टू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी आर नोन एज गैल्वानिक सेल और दिस इज अनदर नेम दैट इज वोल्टाइक सेल एंड अदर वंस विच कन्वर्ट इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इन टू केमिकल एनर्जी or the cells in which electrical energy is used up to carry out chemical reactions is known as electrolytic cell so now you know there are two type of electrochemical cells first of all electrochemical cells are those cells which can interconvert chemical energy and electrical energy those which convert chemical energy into electrical energy or those which use the energy of spontaneous redox reactions to convert into electrical energy are known as galvanic cell or voltaic cell and those which use electrical energy to bring out the non spontaneous redox reactions are known as electrolytic cells now let's understand galvanic cell with an example of a very famous or very general or very typical uh, ga uh, galvanic cell that is daniel cell daniel cell is nothing but a galvanic cell name after the scientist daniel okay so it is a galvanic cell it converts obviously chemical energy into electrical energy actually it converts the chemical energy of the reaction of the redox reaction zinc with copper 2 positive to give zinc 2 positive and copper this is the redox reaction which takes place inside the daniel cell and it is a redox reaction so there is involvement of electron and those electrons are used up to produce electrical energy okay and what happens let's have a look okay so we have two chambers you can say one is anode and obviously another is cathode okay so at anode the uh, okay now first of all let me tell you one thing that this is a redox reaction so there are two parts the one is first is oxidation half reaction and that is zinc getting converted into zinc two positive and we have two electrons and this takes place at our anode another is reduction half reaction and in this what is happening that copper two positive is taking those two electrons and getting converted into yes copper so oxidation and reduction okay so oxidation takes place at anode and the reaction involved is zinc to zinc two positive plus two electrons are produced and though these two electrons are now transferred through the external circuit in the in the in the next container in which the uh, the reduction reaction is taking place the copper 2 positive takes those two electrons and get converted into copper fine so what is the basic criteria there is a redox reaction uh, in which transfer of electron is taking place so we will we'll, we'll split them into oxidation half reaction and reduction half reaction and we will carry out the oxidation re uh, half reaction and reduction half reaction into separate chambers or separate uh, containers and the electron transfer will take place through an external circuit and the transfer of electron is nothing but electric current so we get electrical energy okay fine so and there is a salt bridge there is a bridge which connects the two half cells we, we call them half cells why to complete the circuit if the circuit is not complete the cell will not work obviously okay now the composition of daniel cell is that that at anode we have znso4 solution okay and which is uh, and at our cathode we have 
copper sulfate solution okay and again aqueous and the concentration for both is 1 mole per decimeter cube fine okay and then we have the zinc electrode dipped into ZnSO4 copper electrode zipped into copper CuSO4 or copper sulfate okay fine so concentration is 1 molar per decimeter cube and when the concentration is 1 molar decimeter cube then if we connect a voltmeter then we get a potential of 1.1 volt so this is actually a typical Daniel cell which is a type of galvanic cell okay now now uh, let me do one thing what what I'll do that I'll connect an external battery to this cell okay fine I'll connect an external battery now if now there are two type of potential one is external potential that is potential of the battery another is the cell potential that is internal potential okay now the internal potential is 1.1 1 .1 volt now until the external potential is less than 1.1 1 .1 volt the cell keeps on working the same way electrons are transferred from zinc to copper that is from anode to cathode okay no problem now if I start the increasing external potential and now my external potential becomes equal to 1.1 volt that is equal to internal potential at this time there are two opposite potential with equal value so there is no flow of electrons there is no flow of uh, electricity also and the cell stops working because two external potential internal and external are equal now if I further increase the external potential and the potential of external battery becomes greater than 1.1 volt now all the, the cell starts working in reverse direction okay now the electrons from the external cell are used up to carry out the reactions in reverse direction okay the first uh, uh, earlier zinc was getting converted into zinc 2 positive so when the external potential is more than 1.1 volt then the reverse will take place and zinc 2 positive will start converting into zinc so what is happening actually now we are using external electrical energy to carry out a reaction which was otherwise not possible so now we are using the electrical energy to carry out uh, a non-spontaneous redox reaction and now my cell is working like an electrolytic cell okay